In this video, we are going to discuss installing JDK and JRE for Hadoop. We shall mention all the steps one by one for your understanding and also this video will be assisted with one practical demonstration for your easy working. So let us start with this installation process. So to download JDK, please follow the link. So here the link is given, accept the license agreement option and then go for the Linux 64 bit version and ending with tar.gz. So, this particular file is to be selected. So, you can see after going to this particular link, this page will come up. We shall go for the accept license agreement. Then you shall select this respective version because it is Linux x64 and tar.gz should be the extension of the file how to download GRE on Linux. So, in the previous one, we downloaded only the JDK, but we are now supposed to download the GRE. So, now we are going for this respective link. This page will come up. Accept license agreement is to be selected. So, accept the license agreement and go to the Linux x64 GRE download ending with the file name, ending with the extension tar.gz. So, we have selected this one because it is Linux x64 version. Open up the terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T. In the Ubuntu, just press Ctrl Alt and T, the terminal will get open. Create a Java folder at slash user slash local using root permission. So, it will ask for the password for the Ubuntu root system. And now the command will be sudo mkdir minus p slash user slash local slash java. So, this folder is to be created. Now, copy and paste the downloaded JDK and JRE tar.gz from the download location that is a download folder to the newly created java directory. So, the default folder will be download, but also you can download it in some other folder. So, from that very particular folder to the newly created java directory, these files are to be transferred there. So, now copy and paste the downloaded JDK and JRE, both the two files with the extension tar.gz into the current directory. So, how to do that one? So, if you if you go to the download folder, so cd download and then sudo cp minus r, this is a respective file name and this is a respective destination folder. And similarly, we are going to do the same for the JDK also. Now, go to the Java folder and enter the JDK and GRE files. So, for that you are supposed to go to that folder. So, cd slash user slash local slash java, then sudo tar xvzf that is our JDK start dot tar dot gz and similarly we are doing the same for the GRE file also. Just these commands are to be executed one by one. Now, go to the slash etc slash profile and edit the profile using the lines mentioned below. So, how to open that file? We will be going for sudo that is a g edit that is the editor and then slash etc slash profile is the file name slash etc is the path. So, now write these lines into the profile document. So, these are the lines are to be written in the profile document say at the last you are putting all these lines mention maintaining the lowercase and uppercase letters. So, you can pause the video and you can write all these lines onto the slash etc slash profile file. Now, write these lines onto the terminal one by one. So, these are the lines are to be written onto the terminal that is you are coming out from this uh, g edit software after saving it obviously and then you are going to write these lines onto the terminal prompt. Now, write these lines onto the terminal one by one. So, these are the separate more lines are there. They are to be typed in this order and maintaining this syntax. If you are using the same Java version, the given lines will work fine. For the different versions, you need to edit the version details in the lines. So, here, here you can find here we are using this jre one dot eight dot zero underscore one seven one. So, this version was compatible in my system, but if I are using some new or other Java versions or GRE versions, the versions are to be are to be updated accordingly. And just you just go to this user local Java folder, you will be getting the respective folders are there and accordingly 
the uh, commands are to be changed here. Now refresh the profile to take up the changes whatever we have done. So, now let us uh, run the profile file so that the changes whatever we did in the profile file should get reflected onto the system. So, to do, to do that one we are going for dot slash etc slash profile. Then please reboot your system. So, reboot option will be there just go for the rebooting of your system to check whether the Java is installed correctly or not on your system paste the command in your terminal and if it re returns the Java version then Java is installed correctly. So, now you can type this command. So, there is a Java minus version. Now, if you see that outputs are coming that means that your Java has got loaded successfully on your system. So, you see we are going for this reboot and then after coming up on opening one terminal we can go for this uh, we can go for this writing this Java hyphen version if the Java version is coming correctly that means your Java has got loaded successfully. So, now let us go for one practical demonstration to give you the idea that how the things are taking place and will be following all the steps as we have mentioned here one by one for your better understanding. So, here is the demonstration for you. In this video we are going to install JDK and GRE. So, at first we are going to copy the path of the JDK and also we are having the path for the GRE link. You can find that we are having the path for JTK, we are having the path for GRE. So, these two paths we are going to copy and we are going to paste onto the browser for the downloading and then we shall create one uh, directory under user local. So, the directory name will be Java. Then we shall do the rest operation. So, let me go for the copy of this JDK download link. I'm going for this paste and go. accept license and selecting the Linux 64. So, this is the file we are going to download, save and ok. So, now it is getting downloaded onto my download folder copying the other link for GRE, opening another tab, paste and go. Similarly, again we are going for accept license agreement, then for this Linux 64 where x64 we are selecting this version and save ok. So, two files are in are getting downloaded onto my download folder. So, two files have got downloaded. We are opening one terminal here. So, this is the terminal going for the next step. So, you are going to create one folder java under user slash local now you shall come to the downloads folder then you shall copy this gre uh, file there is a gre start dot tar dot gz and also the jdk start dot tar dot gz so these two files we are going to copy onto the java folder and then we shall extract these two files. So, we are coming down to this user local java folder now. So, now we are going for this uh, sudo tar xvzf. So, we are going for the extraction of the gre zip file and also doing the same also doing the same for this. So, here you can find that we are going for this sudo tar xvzf jtk start dot tar dot gz. So, in this way you are extracting the uh, JDK file and similarly you are extracting the GRE file. So, they will get extracted and they will create their own folders. So, they will create their own folders and the respective files will be there. So, in two separate folders they have got extracted. Now, we shall go for this uh, sudo gedit slash etc slash profile file. So, we shall come at the end we shall create a space and here we are going to copy here we are going to copy these are the paths we are going to copy here you see these are the paths. So, export java home then the path for this java and then export jre home and then path they are to be updated and then export path. So, these are the five lines we are doing the copy here and now we, have, we shall go for the paste onto that slash etc 
slash profile file. So before going for the paste, at first we are going to uh, go into this user local and uh, the respective Java folder. So if you go for this ls, you can find that here we are having two zip files. There is a JDK uh, file that is a dot tar dot gz and JRE file that is dot tar dot gz. And after getting extracted, we have got two folders that is a JDK one dot eight dot zero underscore one eight one and JRE. 1.8.0 underscore 181 so these two are the folders so this uh, folder paths are to be uh, mentioned here in our um, the respective home path uh, for this uh, uh, whatever you are going to update onto the etc folder it is etc profile file so that's why these particular uh, names are required so i'm just uh, checking them and now we shall go for yes so these are the names are there I'm just going for the highlighting. So going for the copy again. So now going for the paste. So let me make this one 181 because we had that one 181 here. You can check that. So this is my 181. So 171 has to be replaced by 181. So I've done the required updates. I've done the required updates here. So this is very vital. Going for the save. Closing that terminal, going for the save and close and then we shall go for some alternative setup to uh, updates the alternative to set up the Java. So before that, let me execute the profile. So here also I need to do some changes here. So we are supposed to execute all the six commands. There is a sudo update hyphen alternative. So all the six commands are to be executed. But before going to do so, let me make this one. 171 is going to get replaced by 181. As I told you the respective uh, folder name. So I'm making the changes here. Then I shall go for a copy. And then I shall go for this terminal. I shall go for the paste. Now I shall go for the second line. I shall uh, copy the second line, pasting it onto this terminal. Similarly, I shall be doing the same for the rest lines. Now I shall check whether the Java has got installed properly or not. Let me check the version of the Java. And it shows that it has got loaded properly. So in this way, how to load this Java, install this Java onto our uh, system that has been demonstrated properly. Thanks for watching this video.